Hello everyone. Recently, we have come across a fake trade dollar, which has passed the test on our application pressures coin tester. This fake dollar was initially reported by Spectacular uh, on his YouTube channel. If you are interested, you can click on the link below to see the original video. Uh, Spag has uh, done very detailed analysis and a comparison between this fake trade dollar and uh, another genuine trade dollar. Both of them have uh, same size, same weight, they have similar sounds, uh, so both of them can pass the test on our application. Spec has also cut inside into this coin to see if uh, the, the inside of this coin is made of other material. In fact, from this cut, we can see that the coin is made from homogeneous material. It's not coated. Uh, so uh, this is a fake coin, and to our application, this is a false positive. This has greatly draw our attention. So we have contacted SPAC uh, so that we can do some further analysis on this coin to see what this coin is made of. Spec is so kind that uh, he has provided us this coin and uh, so that we can do further analysis. Thank you very much, Spec. First, let's verify that this coin does pass the test in our application. Let's confirm that this is a false positive. We select the coin. This is a trade dollar. Then let's do the pin test. It's a two star. Right, it's a positive result. However, this coin is a fake coin, as mentioned by Spag. So, this is a false positive. Let's try again. Still two star. Let's first do a density test. You want to calculate uh, the density of this coin to see if it's close to zero. We weight the coin first. It gives us 27.2 gram. Then we first attach the coin to a string. Then we put a cup of water on the scale. We put the coin inside the water without touching any side or the bottom. We read the number is 2.7. Centimeter cube. That is almost the density of 90% silver. Then we will do an acid test. It's a very traditional test for testing silver coins or silver jewelries. For silver, it will turn brown. We will compare the color produced on the known 90% silver coin. The coin to be tested provided by SPAC and a known fake coin. We will see uh, the color produced on these three different coins. Put one drop here. Put one drop here. One drop here. Let's see what happens. We can see the first known ninety percent coin has turned to a dark red. 
and uh, the coin to be tested. The fake one trade dollar um, is not so dark. It's uh, a little bit dark, but uh, more red. And uh, the known fake Morgan dollar has a green. I'm not sure you can see it. It's a greenish color. This it's red or brown. This one is similar. And this one turns completely green now. I'm sure you can see it. Then after the drop has been cleaned, we can see that for the non fake coin we can see that the color uh, inside the drop Inside uh, this one has become a little bit um, yellow. It should be made of uh, copper inside. And this, this coin to be tested. Inside the drop, it has become white. I don't know what what the material it is. Maybe we can have a, a spectrometer analysis to see what it is inside. Or we can cut more to see what is the material. And uh, for the non 90% silver coin, there is no much difference. After the drop, you can see the color does not the color has uh, changed because of the drop, but uh, inside the drop, the color is uh, the same. This one inside the drop, the color has changed. This one inside the drop, the color has changed to yellow as well. Uh, uh, before cut the coin, uh, we have a better idea. That is, uh, we can put a drop inside this uh, inner part. In the material to see what will be the result. Let's do it for the three coins. One drop for the non silver, one drop for the white material, but we don't know what is it. Last drop for the non fake Morgan dollar. You can see that this coin has a, got some uh, greenish color outside and the inner part uh, become a little bit yellow, orange, yellow. This is for the fake one. The other two we don't have see many changes in the color of the drop. Some reddish color inside, a little bit of green outside.
this one looks similar, a little bit outside because uh, it's 90% silver. Here's some uh, part of the copper. And this one, completely green. Maybe we we'll try to wipe the drop out and see what remains. Do you see it? It's similar as a white material here. You see it? It's a white material here, similar to what we have uh, uh, after the first drop on this coin. It's quite interesting. Let's wipe it here. Still the white material. Look. No, this one, these two are quite similar. Right. Well, wipe up this. Do you see the copper color inside? It's brown or yellow. Let's try uh, the experiment again because we find new ways to represent the color to show your color more clearly. This is a known. 90% uh, silver. This is a, a coin you want to analysis, and this is a non fake Morgan, Morgan dollar. Let's put three drop. One drop here, one drop here, one drop here. Let's wait. And then we'll clean the job with three different papers and the color will be more clearly shown on these papers. This is very dark brown, it's still red, and this is uh, become orange green. Look, this is why it's very dark red. This is light white red. This is complete green. See that is complete green, a uh, little bit orange. Okay, I think it should be okay now because uh, we can see some uh, powders inside already. Then let's clean, clean the drop with uh, this paper to see what color it is. The first one. No, ninety percent silver. It has a red color, right? The second one, well, the coin one to analysis. It is similar. It has a some red color here. Let's have a compare. The third one. Now it's easy to see that it's already turned completely green. You can see the color. It's green. Now it's quite easy to get to the difference between these two, three coins. This one is known 90% silver. This one should be. 90% silver because 
both the color are quite the same. And this one is a non-thick Morgan dollar, which has a green color.